Welcome to the News at 10 on this Thursday. Today, witnesses revealed more disturbing details about the murders of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan. We're almost finished with week three of their mom, Lori Vallow Daybell's murder trial. Lori's charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in the deaths of J.J. and Tylee. She's also charged with conspiracy and theft in the death of her husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. Our Abby Davis joins us now. And Abby, some of the witnesses also talked about DNA today. We haven't heard much about that throughout this trial. That's exactly right. And actually, eight people testified. So there were many people on the stand today. And most of those were various law from various law enforcement agencies. So one person with the Idaho State Police shared some pretty important information about one of Lori's brothers, Alex Cox. Nearly three years ago, law enforcement found seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan's remains. But many of the details about how they died and what their remains looked like were unknown until this week. The state is continuing with presenting evidence in its case. During day 17 of their mom, Lori Vallow's murder trial, experts shared more brutal details about the kids' murders. Many of those details involved DNA. Idaho State Police forensic scientist Tara Martinez analyzed latent fingerprints found on the plastic bag around J.J.'s body. Evaluation of... Uh, item 11 in the lab, the black plastic with the duct tape, yielded two latent prints. Correct. Yes, yes. And both of those latent prints matched the known prints of whom? Alexander Lamar Cox. That's Lori's older brother, who died in December 2019. A family friend who testified earlier in the trial said he saw Alex carrying JJ that September, one of the last times JJ was seen. ISP forensic biologist Catherine Dace also took the stand. She looked at hand tools from Chad Daybell's property, where law enforcement found the kids. It was a variety of shovels, a pickaxe, a pair of shears, a post hole digger, and several hand saws. Day said she was looking for blood and possible human remains. Did you find anything to be con that you considered to be of evidentiary value? Yes, I found several presumptive positive blood stains on the tools, and um, on several of the tools, I thought I found what could be charred flesh. They said some of that blood was on the pickaxe. Were you able to obtain a DNA profile from those samples? I was. Were you able to reach a conclusion? The DNA profile from item 36.1.3 matched that obtained from the reference sample of Tylee Ryan. At the end of the day, Samantha Gwilliam testified. She's the sister of Tammy Daybell, Chad's late wife. Chad called me the morning that she passed away. Do you recall what he told you? He told me that she had been really sick and that she'd been coughing all night. Did that make any sense to you? No, because I had just seen her two weeks previous to that, and she hadn't been that, she wasn't that sick at all. She was very healthy. A few months before Tammy's death, Gwilliam said she started noticing changes in her sister's marriage. Something seemed off. Um, they were very awkward at our house, and, I, and Chad wouldn't converse with my husband. Um, like they normally do. It just seemed really strange and we weren't sure what was going on. William also said Tammy never told her about a possible affair. Her testimony lasted about 15 minutes. Experts also shared graphic information in court about Tylee's remains, but for the sake of this broadcast, we will not go into detail. You can read about it if you wish on KTVB.com. Morgan and Bryant, the judge, also shortened court tomorrow, um, so the day will look likely be a lot shorter as well, and that's really just because they're going so fast. Right. They've even canceled trial yes. a few of the days throughout mm -hmm. this the past couple months, but, you know, this is the first time we're really hearing from anybody on Tammy's side, True. Yeah. and we are expecting her to continue testimony for who knows how long tomorrow, but it is is powerful to hear from people close to Tammy. Right, that's something we haven't really heard a lot yeah. about, even in all the investigations yes. and the documentaries up to this point. That's been kind of exactly pushed yeah. to the side. And likely emotional too. Yeah. All right, Abby Davis, thank you so much. We've got even more in-depth coverage on the Vallow trial for you. You can check out our newest episode of Inside the Courtroom. You can find that right now on our YouTube page or you can stream it on KTVB Plus. That's for Roku or Fire Stick.